Welcome to Raynell.com. Today we're going to be using the Affectionately Yours Designer Series paper. Now, our project is a great project, but it won't use these first two papers because they are uh, not double-sided. We need double-sided paper for this project. The remaining papers, I'm going to roll the dice and I get a number five. And so the green and watermelon wonder uh, that will be our paper that we're going to be working with today. Now, after I rolled the dice and got the paper that I was going to use, I went ahead and made our project. It is called a Buy Your Own Present gift card holder. And it is so cute because it has, a it has two pockets, actually. A Buy Your Own Present sentiment place and a place for your money, your check, or your gift card. It is a cute idea. This one was one I made uh, out of some old, old Stampin' Up! designer series paper as a wedding card. This, again, is the Buy Your Own Present uh, stamp set, and we'll be using it today as I show you how to make this project. In this stamp set, there are sentiments for weddings, for graduations, for babies, for thanks so much, and almost sentiments for every occasion that you could think of, including happy birthday. So let's get started with our project. Our cut list will be one strip of 4 by 12 inches. a square of three and three-fourths inches, a triangle of three and seven-eighths, so I just cut a square and then cut it from point to point to get me a triangle, which was three and seven-eighths. Then we're going to need three small quarter-inch strips that are three inches long. We're going to be using some glue dots, a tiny little bow out of uh, Baker's Twine. Let's begin by scoring our 12 inch strip. We're going to score that at four inches. We're going to turn it and we're going to score again at four inches. Now, if you'll notice on my scoring board, I have a black line. I'm going to put the point of that center section on that black line and the bottom part I'm going to put on the black line and I'm going to score on a diagonal of that center section from point to point. And after scoring I'm going to take my one hole one inch hole punch and I'm going to cut a thumb hole in that top triangle uh, about in the middle. It's not an exact science, but it's kind of in the middle. Notice that I'm only going to place my hole punch only halfway in, and that will make a good thumb, thumb hole. With our thumb hole portion at the top, we're going to fold the right side of the card strip. We're going to fold it on the diagonal line straight down, and then we're going to crease it with our bone folder. The bottom portion, we're going to just wrap it around, and that creates our credit card or money pocket. And now we're going to use our bone folder, and we're going to crease that score line. As you score, keep in mind that those top edges need to be aligned. Now, let's secure our back pocket with some adhesive. I'm using the tear and tape. The tear and tape is strong enough to hold this back pocket. And that completes our pocket. Next, take the left side of the card and fold it over to create the entire card front. And of 
Using our 3 and 3 fourths inch square, we're now going to use our corner rounder and round the corners of this base layer. And then it's up to you. It's your choice. You can use the early espresso marker and make your dash lines first, or you may stamp your BYOP first. I chose to do my dash lines first, but when I was thinking about it later, if I had messed up on my stamping, all the effort from the dash lines would have been wasted. So it's probably a better idea to do your stamping first. Then if you mess up on your stamping, you can turn it over and then you're not wasting all the effort for the dash lines. Using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I'm going to stamp the BYOP on the thread the 3 4 inch square. Then I'm going to take the little triangle and on the longest side I'm going to stamp the buy your own present. And then to put the little flower in the thumb hole I'm going to make me a little mark where it's supposed the placement should be and then I will stamp that. I'm going to erase my pencil marks and then I'll place the triangle in the little pocket of the card and that little flower just peeks out in the thumb hole. To finish the cards and place all the elements on it I'm going to start with my Tombow ad ad liquid adhesive and I'm going to place the BYOP. I'm going to place it on first and then I'm going to cut the little strips for banner ends and then um, I'm going to curl two of the little strips with my fingernail just to curl it a little bit. Now I'm going to that very first strip I'm going to glue it completely down on the face of the card. Then the other two strips, I'm going to only glue them about one inch and that will allow those little curls to curl up. And to finish the card, we're going to add a glue dot and our black and white baker's twine little bow. I am always surprised when I roll the dice to see what my project is going to look like. This is not one of the papers that I would normally have picked, but I like it for this project. So join me again at Raynell.com and purchase your products at Stampin' Up! using Raynell as your demonstrator. Thank you and have a great day.